Britain's monarchy is encountering a spot of turmoil after the Duke and Duchess of Sussex announced their intention to step back as senior members of the royal family. Prince Andrew has had to step back after questions were raised about his relationship with Jeffrey Epstein. The Queen is ageing and the Duke of Edinburgh is facing severe health problems. But to me the biggest question is how their role develops from here. In the announcement they talk about striving to become financially independent. At the heart of that is a dichotomy. On any level they're likely to be trading on the fact that they are royals. Prince Harry, if he manages to carve a role out for himself on the international speaking circuit, commanding fees of upwards of $500,000 a pop, it's not because he is a thought leader. It's because he's a prince. The same probably counts for Meghan. If she's able to resume her acting career, she will do so with the tailwind of being a royal and all the box office clout that might come with it. By the same token, it's hard to see what other roles they could do. Prince Harry is a qualified helicopter pilot, but he doesn't have an undergraduate degree. He does have the benefit of £30 million pounds worth of inheritance. That's money that's come from his mother's side and his great-grandmother, in fact. People who were aristocrats, but it's not coming straight out of the public purse. Perhaps he might find a niche as an angel investor, which wouldn't necessarily be cashing in on his royal status, although that will surely open some doors. It doesn't look as though they thought about the deepest implications of this decision, and the fact that it wasn't made in collaboration with the rest of the royal household speaks to a certain insouciance which underlies some of their thinking. But Britain's in a precarious position right now. We've got Brexit. The last thing that the country needs is uncertainty around the royal family. The main constitutional argument for for it is it's a sort of bedrock of stability underneath all of the turbulence that goes on in everyday politics. Perhaps they'll prove us all wrong. They'll succeed in treading that difficult path of not cashing in on their titles, but also contributing to the public good as they say they intend to. 